Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Friday afternoon, taking me a nice leisurely stroll out here. Very nice today. Uh, it's nice to be able to do this on a Friday afternoon. Um, going to go to a football game tonight, the local uh, high school where I used to work. I tried to go to all our home games. So may uh, do a little video on it that. But uh, I'm concerned because it's occurring to me that I'm probably going to have to pay. Um, as, a, as a school board employee, I did not have to pay to go to games in my county because um, there's a lot of high schools. So I'm thinking about writing a letter maybe to the governor or the my state legislator, see if they pass a law. They need to pass a law that says if you're a retired teacher, you shouldn't have to pay to go to any high school ball games. Um, so if you feel like joining me in that, uh, to stand up for that cause, um, you know, being retired and all that, I, I don't need to be paying for stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Let's talk about football since I'm talking about football. Let's just continue that. Uh, I'll tell you, let's do a story about the first school that I worked at. First, probably the first, one of the first ball games I ever coached in. So this is my first year coaching, so I'm kind of like the gopher. You know, the, the youngest coaches are the ones that have to do all the crap that the experienced coaches don't want to do. Or that you don't want to take one of your experienced coaches away from their job to do this. So you get you yell at the younger guys. So if you have a coach whose name... You hear yelled all the time by the head coach that's the guy that does all the junk so like my first year you'd hear it on the sidelines all the time nickels you know if a kid's shoulder pads tore up nickels come fix his stuff you know because i wasn't doing anything else so i fix all the stuff that got tore up but anyway um the first one of the first games we're standing there and this this school was when it comes to football, I mean, it was pitiful. I mean, we had we had never won. Um, the stadium was in horrible shape. I mean, the the rumor was it had been it had been declared, you know, like a disaster area or something by the fire marshal or something. <laughs> well, we were still using it. So, anyway, the stadium was terrible. The visitor side bleachers were terrible. There wasn't a track around the, uh, the, the football field, and uh, there wasn't a fence. And the field itself was in bad shape because everybody in the world used it. I mean, you could just go down there on the weekend and take your dog and your Frisbee and play around with your dog on the field if you wanted to. Uh, you wanna have a picnic, family reunion, just go ahead, go ahead on the football field. Um, you know, and it was in the mountains. There wasn't a lot of flat land around, so. It was a nice big flat area and people like to use it community so uh anyway and then pe and a recess like all the the elementary school the middle school the high school was all on the same campus so everybody used it for whatever reason anytime you felt like it so uh anyway we're getting ready for the ball game band's playing and they were and the officials come running over there and they start saying a bunch of stuff to the head coach and the head coach yells nickels and so I go running over there. What is it? He's like, listen to them. And so the officials are like going, there's a bunch of holes down here, right in the corner of the end zone. It's in one end zone corner and they're everywhere. Somebody's gonna break a leg down there, you know? He's like, you gotta get something, some dirt or something and fill, fill in this, these holes. And, okay, okay, okay. So well, me and one of the other coaches and this other coach was, uh, he was like a bull in the china shop, man. He was the kind of guy that, if he walked in to somewhere, some was getting tore up, you know. He was just everywhere, you know, big old guy. So anyway, they send me and this guy to go find some dirt. And so we grab a couple of buckets, we grab the gator, we go riding through the campus. And I'm like, where are we going? He's like, I know a place where we can get some dirt. And I'm like, okay, all right, let's go. And so I, I didn't know where we were going. So we go driving, and we drive behind the elementary school. And I'm like, what are we doing back here? He's like, you'll see. So we get back there, and there it is. The kindergarten sandbox. <laughs> we, we start shoveling up all this sand, filling up these buckets with sand. And uh, I'm like, can we get this sand? He's like, yeah, we're getting the sand. So I'm like, okay. 
So we go back up to the football field. Of course, the whole stadium is waiting on us. So here we come with our little buckets of sand. The whole football game is being delayed. And we, you know, we go down the corner and we're just slinging sand everywhere. And we start looking for these holes. And I'm thinking like, well, maybe a gopher or something dug a bunch of holes. Uh, or a groundhog or something, you know. But it was all these holes. And they were about as big around as my fist like that. About that big. And they were everywhere. I mean, they were all over the place. And they were right, like, like, like the guy said, they were all like right in the, uh, right in the corner. So we're like, what in the world made all these holes? So, you know, we play the game. We got the holes filled up enough to play the game. And then we were all talking about it. We're like trying to figure out where these holes came from. This is so weird. It's like, this is a total mystery. So the next Monday, you know, I'm in the cafeteria and I'm talking to the other teachers. And they were like, what happened at the ball game the other night? How come the game got delayed? And I'm like, oh, I said, there's a bunch of holes down there. Uh, you know, we had to fill them up with sand. Of course, now I'm sure all the elementary school teachers got to work on Monday and wanted to know what happened to all the sand in the sandbox. <laughs> I never heard anything about that. So I don't know if they ever solved that mystery or not. But anyway, here's a small town, so I'm sure they probably heard what happened. So anyway, I was telling them what happened. And one of the teachers go, oh, well, I know what that was. And I was like, well, what was it? Well, she was a PE teacher. And she said, well, we're doing a unit about track. So I was gonna teach, you know, the guys how to throw a shot put. So we got in the corner of the end zone cause you know, a shot put, you gotta have a 90 degree angle. You know, you get in the corner and you throw it and then you measure how far it went. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's really great. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, I knew enough, I was young enough to say something to her, but she was old enough to be my mama. So I was smart enough to treat her like I would have treated my mama and I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't say, wow, that was really stupid. Or I, I just kept my mouth shut. And so uh, I told the head coach and the other coaches when they found out, of course they were just all hot, you know, cause I mean, we were all really young really serious about football and how important it was and so uh we were all just so mad but um i guess she got addressed about that at some or not because <laughs> like i said it wasn't too important at that school football doesn't matter so yeah there was probably some elementary kid kindergartner something like that that went down to playing that sandbox on that Monday morning in 1989. Probably got down there and couldn't play in it. Pitched a fit, got in trouble in school. Just sent them on a downward spiral. Messed up their whole school career. Just cause we had to get to sand for the, pretty depressing to think about now that I think about it now, I didn't think about it back then, but thinking about it now, some kid didn't get to play in the sandbox on, on that Monday. I don't know. Well, maybe maintenance had a bunch of extra sand and they went down there and repaired it real quick. Yeah, that's probably what happened. They probably, they probably had a big old stockpile of sand somewhere that maintenance kept and they just went down there and filled it up. It wasn't no big deal. That's probably what happened. I feel a lot better now. And it was cool to solve the mystery the mystery of the shot put corner of the football field. So, I guess I proved my worth by solving the mystery. Pretty smart, pretty smart guy. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the game tonight. If you have a game to go to, have a good time, enjoy it. Nichols Retirement Empire, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, people that subscribe. And uh, have a good weekend.